Hi, I'm Ian Body. In this video, I'd like to talk about and demonstrate the second module I have designed in collaboration with AJH Synth. This is the chance delay. As you can surmise from its name, the core idea is about the chance or probability of an event occurring. I've always found the idea of chance in music to be a fascinating one, a layer of unpredictability that can add a layer of interest and variety to what would otherwise be 100% repeating patterns. The most obvious thing to apply chance to is a trigger or gate. So in this first simple patch, we have a sequenced seven step bass line. The second higher register five step sequence is currently not playing. Its trigger coming from the Hermod sequencer is patched to the in of the chance delay and the out sent to an envelope which will fire off the filter VCA combo for the second voice. As we manually raise the chance, it will start to play with increasing frequency until we reach 100% chance when it will always play. can also be controlled via external modulation, such as a square wave LFO in this example. Add some echo to the second sequence and we have a nice pattern with a lovely feel which we can manipulate in real time. A different use of chance is at very low settings, when an event will only occur occasionally. In this patch, chance is being modulated by a slow LFO wave to open and close an envelope with long attack and decay times, so the oscillator only plays sparsely. This long delay and reverb, a beautiful ambient soundscape can be created which will constantly change over time. So far, so good. However, one of the core philosophies that AJH and I share is to give a module several layers of functionality. The next thing to talk about is delay. We're not talking about echo here, but rather delaying when the module sends whatever trigger or gate it receives at its input through to its output. Using the previous seven and five step sequencer patch, here how the second sequence starts to drag behind the bass line as I increase the delay time. Then 
There's a nice sweet spot here at a setting of about 6 where the higher sequence has a nice syncopated feel against the bass line. There are also fast and slow ranges via a switch for shorter or longer delay times. Of course this can be put under voltage control and in this second example I have a couple of tight white noise percussion sounds coming from my vintage Roland System 100M. Each voice has its own phaser so they will always be slightly different. At relatively small delays and with some attenuated LFO voltage control a nice flamming effect can be created which if the two voices are panned in stereo gives a nice wide feel to the percussion part. The next thing to discuss is length. With this, the time it takes before a positive going trigger falls back to zero can be extended. In essence, turning a trigger into a gate. Despite this sounding rather technical, it has a very useful musical application due to something called divide by n. If the length of a trigger is extended beyond the time it takes for the next trigger to arrive at the input, the second trigger will be ignored until the first trigger has dropped to zero. In this case, the third trigger will then pass through successfully, and so on. So with this approach, we can beat divide the incoming trigger. Going back to our bass line in high register second sequence, listen to how the latter starts to play at half speed of the former, then a third of the speed, etc. There is a fast and slow switch for two different length ranges and as with the other controls on the chance delay the length can be voltage controlled. At the slower trigger divisions it can be quite nice to lengthen the envelope so the notes fade away with the decay of the envelope. One of the nice things about a module like the chance delay is the opportunity to abuse it. To use it in a way that it wasn't originally designed for. So far, what we've been feeding its input are triggers. What happens though if we send in an audio signal? Any ideas? Let's try this out with a triangle waveform from an oscillator. Simply plug this to the input and let's listen to the output of the chance delay. First thing to notice is it's obviously no longer a smooth, pure triangle wave, but rather a more buzzy square wave type of sound. The real fun comes in when you start to change the various settings on the chance delay. Reducing chance creates interruptions to the sound, which 
then ends in a chaos of clicks. Changing the delay gives a really peculiar effect, almost like bit reduction. Finally, altering length actually reduces the pitch in stages, and this could thus be used to create a sub oscillator, although you'd probably want to filter it to reduce its harshness. Putting the module under voltage control and filtering the output before going through some effects can create all sorts of dark, brooding drones. So I hope these examples give you an insight into the creative potential of the chance delay module. I'll end with a patch which asks the question, what is better than one chance delay? Well, two of course. Here I have a sequence of chords playing my Moog Matriarch in paraphonic mode from Ableton Live. The two outputs from the Moog are then going through separate filters and VCAs in this Eurorack case. The Hermut sequencer is synced to Ableton and is sending out two sets of triggers which are being fed through the two chance delays. Their outputs feed two envelopes that can then fire off the filter VCA combos on the audio outs from the Moog. I'll play with the chance to lay settings in real time to create a lovely, ever-changing staccato chord pattern. So there you have it, the chance delay. It can be a chance or probability control of whether an event happens or not. It can act as a trigger gate delay. And the length has a divide by n function which has all sorts of musical uses. And it can even act on audio signals to create some crazy PWM aliasing like FX, as well as act as a sub octave generator. As with the triple cross, I'm excited to see what modular synth players do with the chance delay. Happy patching.